In classical mechanics, an electron is a point. It has a position, a location in space, and it has a velocity. It's moving somewhere. And from that, you can predict what's going to happen. Okay? Quantum mechanics says, no, no, no. The electron has a wave function. So it, there's a wave. You know, sometimes you hear this debate about are, are things like electrons and photons, particles, or waves. The answer is that they are waves. <laughs> and the wave function has this weird property that when you're not looking at it, it's a wave, it's all spread out or it's localized somewhere, but it obeys an equation, the Schrodinger equation. So far, so good, just like regular physics. There's a thing, the wave function, it obeys an equation, the Schrodinger equation. You can predict what's going to happen next. But the weird thing about quantum mechanics is that there's a whole separate set of rules for what happens when you look at the thing, when you observe it, when you measure it. That's where things get squirrely yes. with people describing it, right? Yes. And that's where they want to go woo-woo on you. It's an opening to be woo-woo, right? When yes. you say, like, what do you mean <laughs> right. observe something? Like, does it have to be a conscious being? Can it be a video camera? You know, that's just right. weird, right? right? Is it the act of measuring that changes things? Well, this is the puzzle, okay? This is what is called the measurement problem of quantum mechanics. That the rules we teach our students at Caltech or anywhere else when we teach them quantum mechanics in their sophomore year of college, uh, the rules say when a system is observed, when it is measured, its state, its wave function changes dramatically, suddenly, and unpredictably. 